Hey guys, this is Shan from Technical Twenty Four X Seven. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I just started a new series all about Adobe Premiere Pro. So make sure you stay tuned with my channel and be a honest subscriber. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch all the video on my channel. Before starting this video, I need to make a clarification with you guys. In this few minutes video, I'm going to teach you all the basics and important settings you have to know. if you are not familiar with adobe premiere pro so make sure you watch the video till end and don't forget to subscribe my channel and memorize each and every step which i am going to show you again before starting you just need to install adobe premiere pro application or you can say software on your workstation in my case i am using adobe premiere pro cc 2015 you can use whatever version you like so you have to download it from any source which you like to know so let get started As you can see this is a Adobe Premiere Pro interface in your case it might be look different so to make to look like this you have to select windows workspace and editing tab or you can say editing templates because we are the purpose of using Adobe Premiere is for editing so i prefer to use this editing tab only so this is the interface looks like this is a timeline this is project folder This is source folder where you can edit all your footage and this is program or you can say final composition where all the final settings will going to look like on your video. To start editing you have to import a media to a project folder. So just right click and select import or double click and select a file what you like to import or just drag and drop a folder or a file in adobe premiere project folder in my case i am using a drag and drop function by double click on by double clicking on it the footage will open in a source composition where you can edit or trim the video as you can see i am i am using gta 5 so if you need to trim your video make sure you start a mark in option and mark out option by selecting this or making or pressing i or o So whatever the clip is in between the mark will going to import in your timeline. So I just So from here I need to import so I am marking and i mark out so if you guys want both audio and video simply drag this footage on your timeline as you can see it imported video and audio but if you want to import only a video just by dragging this video column it will going to import only video a same with audio so let's make a small clip again same mark in mark out you can zoom in zoom out this timeline by clicking this portion it will going to expand your timeline As you can see I just added two clips and compile in one and it going to be look like this So if you want to make more attractive you need to add a transition in between these clips so to to apply a transition you just you can go over project folder and you can see a effects tab just click on effect tabs there is some folders at last there is a video transition click on video transition it will going to expand some transition like zoom wipe slide in my case i am going to use dissolve transition i mostly prefer the film dissolve so to apply this transition just drag a drop transition in between these files so as you can see the yellow mark a yellow shaded mark is going to which is going to apply a transition over these parts so like like you can see 
the transition is applied now. Or you can see this adaptive dissolve. Same as with all the settings, if you have to make a color correction on your clip, same simply go to video effects, color correction and drag, drag and drop the effects on the video and it will going to apply. Now let's talk about the video part. So by selecting a clip and selecting an effect control, you can see some composition settings over, over here. In your case it might be look like this so just simply click on this little arrow it will going to expand all the composition in motion under motion there is some settings position scale rotation the position this th this value will going to represent it x x means horizontal value and this will going to represent y means vertical value this is used to scale the video like if you want to zoom or zoom out or you have to manually adjust the height and width of the video by simply uncheck the uniform scale you can adjust it manually now rotation tool is used to rotate a video same as with anchor opacity used to fade in fade out for a video time remapping function is used to remap the time of your footage as you can see a small stopwatch in front of every settings which means you can animate these settings to animate these settings simply click on it make a changes in your settings and it, it will be going to animate it now let's talk about the audio part under the effect control there is an audio effect too where you can increase the volume of your audio or decrease if you have some noise so you can decrease it will going to minus 287 db or maximally you can increase to 6 db same with channel volume you can just shift your volume to left or right so this is some basic settings you have to know if you applied any additional settings from this effect panel or video effects panel just like brightness and control it will going to add an additional tab under video effects or if you add a volume or add audio tab it will going to add a tab under the audio effects as you can see we applied a brightness and contrast so you can adjust the brightness and contrast so if you satisfied with your final project you need to take out a render for that you just press ctrl m it will going to pop up a render settings as you can see that this is a render settings so select a format I prefer H.264 but you can select a quick time to make enable quick time you have to install a quick time after installing up Adobe Premiere Pro. Then this is some presets I mostly go for custom you can just add a comments you can add a comments it's optional if you guys want to export video only then select this part only if you guys want to export audio then select audio only in my case I'm using both output name just select a destination where you want to save the file select a name proper name then over here you can see a summary where you go going to save this project folder or project file you can select under these settings under these settings you can select the resolution size of your project like uh, bitrate setting i mostly prefer 1.7 to 1.8 and Under audio settings it is all by default multiplexer caption when you done with your settings just simply click on export it will going to export your project or footage on a destination or a output source where you selected so our project is just exported I forgot to mention you guys before rendering always save your projects sometime it might be get crashed so it will going to save your ton of your time so always save your project before rendering then apply for render just you can see this is our footage will going to look like
you can import as many as clip as you want and apply as many as transition and effects you like to add so make sure you guys subscribe my channel and if you like my video please like this video and give me support by liking and commenting so this is how we edit a clip and render out in adobe premiere pro thanks for watching guys make sure you like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep watching my all videos which i'm going to post in future on this channel watch all the videos stay blessed